Automobile Magic, How Your Car Is Built. A picture story of mechanical wonders inside an auto factory, where steel is almost human. Popular Science Monthly, January 1927. Long life for your car depends, first of all, on careful tests in the chemical and metallurgical laboratories to check the chemical composition and physical properties of the materials that go into it. Every motor car is born in the foundry, where white-hot molten iron from a cupola furnace is poured from ladles into casting molds. After cooling, the castings are cleaned with a sandblast, carefully inspected, and transported to the machine shop, where powerful machines, operating almost automatically, do the necessary tuning, boring, drilling, and grinding. With a few crushing blows, this giant hammer forges a piece of intensely hot alloy steel into a crankshaft or front axle. Notice the deep concrete foundation built to withstand the blow of 12,000 pounds. Mammoth presses convert flat sheets of steel into fenders, doors, body panels, and similar parts. Other presses form the axle housing, brake drums, and even the entire front wheel hub. In fashioning an automobile engine from a casting, all cylinders are bored at once, then polished or honed to fine smoothness. They must be accurate to within one thousandth of an inch. Another machine drills holes for the valve lifters and valves, and finishes the valve seats. The engines next are assembled on moving conveyors, each workman being skilled in quick, accurate performance of one particular operation. Afterward, the finished engines are tested on their own power on special stands. The sturdy pressed steel frame is the foundation on which the chassis is built. Workmen are seen here riveting running board brackets to the frame, which then is enameled and baked in an oven. To the steel frame are bolted the axles, with springs and wheels attached and tires mounted. How these are brought together in the second stage of chassis assembly is pictured below. Notice how the wheels are conveyed to within easy reach of the assembler on an inclined track. Down a conveyor comes the engine. A crane swings it into place on the frame. While the completed chassis move along constantly on assembly conveyors beneath, an overhead monorail conveyor lowers the upholstered bodies upon them through openings in the ceiling. Expert assemblers swiftly and dexterously apply the various parts as the chassis move always forward past them. Complete except for headlights and license plates, the finished car finally rolls out of the factory under its own power. It is then given a road test on a special track for a final tuning up, and sent out with a clean bill of health, ready for a buyer.